Hello everyone. Now, moments ago, or during probably another video, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this exactly, but you saw that I was with my friend Justin and everything while playing this. Well, we did have a... We were... While I was recording certain parts for this, my game crashed and it... Or, or my computer crashed, not my game, my bad. And it corrupted my recording file. Now, because this, because, and good news is, because the story we were on, we didn't get too far, and we were using Justin's save file. So, I can go back he, on my personal thing and tell you guys, er, and show you guys what you missed. Which, luckily, y'all did not miss much. And so here we are from last y'all saw was possibly from the train. So here we go. The bartender. Greetings on your guests. It's time for a much awarded explanation that <laughs> or waited explanation that we promise you. <laughs> and just gonna say this, I'm gonna have problems <laughs> reading these out because I'm terrible at English. I'm terrible at English. Anyways. Now we can a I can actually read these without with the limited time I di we did during the intro. But here we go. Allow me to formally welcome you to Bar Samurai. Samurai. God damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it the bar. <laughs> the stage lights up. The three other cats are here too. It appears. We've done this a few times, so let me preemptively answer a few more of the immediate concerns I'm sure you have. You are currently inside of the bar. I am the bartender here. It is an establishment we run where beings of all dimensions can stop in for a visit to relax relax and refresh. It's also a front for a notorious gang of omnidimensional thieves that break into <laughs> concept and narratives rather than just physical places in commercial space time. I fucking love his face. <laughs> the cellist. He makes the best faces. He's talking about us just in case th that went over your head. And you as well, hopefully. But we'll get to that in a minute. The bar is a hub of sorts. A plethora of dimensions and worlds have free access to the spot in local space time. Naturally, that access goes both ways. We can enter those other worlds from here, which is where you come in. Actually, I should probably give each one a different voice. Let's catch it to this. We would like to hire you. Forcibly break into dimensions that you do not belong to. Steal everything you can, and then give it to us. You get it. Got a tick. Of course, we will also give you free room and a broad for the dura board, uh, blah, 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 for the duration of your stay and access to special tools developed by us. There is data involved, but the results of failure are a lot less complicated for players than it are than they are for us. Suffice to say, we are in central. I can't read <laughs> to have help. That said. As I said earlier, you may absolutely refuse. We will immediately return you to the main menu and you'll be free to go on with your day. This agreement between two parties. Not a hostage situation. So, what do you say? Um, oh yeah. So we can actually, sometimes in the text, in some of these parts, uh, we can actually have choices here. I'm gonna choose the same ones as, as I did the first time. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Oh, thank God! Finally, we can stop almost dying in shitty role-playing maps. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to get. Uh, I'm trying to give each one of these cats a voice if I can. Gonna have to find some other way to kill you. You're never gonna wake up early enough in the day, my dude! <laughs> I 
The singer runs over to the edge of the seat and starts jumping up and down. They stop for a second and take out a tablet. They type on it furiously. The tablet says, Hi, I'm the singer. Nice to meet you. Smiley face. They're holding it above their head and jumping up and down now. They can't read it if you keep moving it. But I think they'll get the picture. At any rate, welcome aboard. It's good to have you all with us. We should get them up to speed, boss. Shard's tank's not going to fill itself. Of course! Now then, how would you like to a rundown of the operation we have? I recommend it. Um, I'm mainly going to say yes, not this for... Because I do already know this, but I also want you guys to know what's going on. Certainly! We just got a few number of facilities here in the bar. Fuck, I read that wrong probably. Sorry, my bad. The most important one is the trolley depot. Pot. The, the, the. the trolley is how you visit a map once you select it. Once all players have taken a seat, it will take care of the rest. You also have been provided with a modified pistol that acts as a beacon for the trolley dimensional navigation systems. If enough players target the same spot with it, it will break into the map from that spot. I suggest you take care not to stand in its way. Um, as I read this, Justin told me he found out the hard way <laughs> about this. A rare slippy, as y'all probably know. Once it arrives, it will leave the same way it or you know, the same way it arrived. Once all players are sitting inside. A little past the depot is the camp you'll be living in. And the machine that lets you find new worlds to break into. Don't worry, it's pretty simple to operate. There are only two buttons worth a damn on it, after all. The big clunky looking TV is what you use to look at new levels, and the weird thing in the center is what you use to select one. I forgot to <laughs> use the voice I was trying to use for Deanna's. You know what? Forget it for now. It's complicated though. So, to make it even more simpler, we mark the consoles you need to use with a green and red light. Look for it, that, and you'll get it in no time. Just remember, browse on the TV and select the level on the center of the phrase it. Moving on, let's talk about the pops or prop snatcher. You know, the jury rig stun baton I selflessly donated to you all in bonezone.psp or whatever. <laughs> that fucking face. <laughs> I still fucking love it. Know how many times I see it. You dropped it down a vent. The prop snatcher allows you to steal any prop from the map. Once you come back to the bar, you can save the props you've stolen for, for money. And all you need to do is pull the lever in the money den and we'll handle the rest. We should note the money gain from stealing props is shared between you and your friends. Every player retrieves their own individual share of money based on the total cash value of props stolen on the server, regardless of who stole it. This means you don't have to worry about falling behind. You should feel free to spend money when you get it, as you're not hogging it from other players. Players who join late or only ever, only ever so often will retrieve money based on this server's progress, too. There are two other ways to make money. The first is flat cash rewards for all players for each star acquired. And the second is talking to us around here, around the bar. When we have a request for you, we'll make sure to compensate you fairly for your work. I am the bartender, and as his name suggests, I'm the one who tends the bar. You can spend the money you gain here for new equipment or to level up your tools and allow you to explore and steal more freely and easily. Well, I think that covers about everything, doesn't it? Let's get... Hey, wait up. Tell them about the shots. Oh, of course. Right. We have to explain the number one reason we're brought here. It's also linked to the period of employment you'll have with us. We need you to hunt for objects we call shards in each level you can visit. They are naturally occurring space-time phenomena that, that can be harvested and we want them. 
support reasons. Yep, reasons. Mm, reasons. Or reasons. <coughs> the singer nods. Yeah, now the singer finally talks. Oh yeah, <laughs> once we got the amount we need, you'll be freely to go whenever you wish. No strings, no depositions, just a <laughs> real parting on your terms. Yes, I did choose this option. <laughs> Do I get a cool costume? Oh hell yeah! This dude gets it. Nothing more important than how dope you look while you dare out all the copper wire in someone's kitchen and loot their dump stash. You look like a platonic <laughs> form of a used car salesman. Got caught in an explosion at a <laughs> tweeter factory. <laughs> Sorry I'm laughing at what he said <laughs> because I still find that funny. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> It might be illegal for you to give advice about style to anyone. Oh wait, fuck, I forgot that the pianist is a girl. Faust, Dan, don't listen to her undying, Jake. Come find me and we'll discuss the pod. Is it life? Fuck my throat. <laughs> the cellist yawns and staggers out of the room. The rest of the cats begin to file out. Soon, it's just you and the theater working for a group of thieves. Oh well, might as well just go with the flow, right? Let's see what we've got to work with. But, yeah. Now, a little tour of the place, and this is a small tour, not a big one. I won't go into too much detail, because um, before my computer crashed, uh, Justin didn't show me much of everything, but yeah, this is here, um, yeah, as it said, we can talk to the, talk to them, and head over here, as usual, my childhood sweetheart is after my trash, so now, I drive a tank to school every day, <laughs> and, but as we pull on this lever, This happens. Oh wait, is that the Metal Gear? Hey, I want to keep the Metal Gear. Let me keep the Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. mm -hmm. So yeah, as all these props are coming down, we get cash for it. If you see on the top right, and that's how much cash we earn. And with this, we can go to the bartender, talk to him, and get certain upgrades. Yep. And, yeah. Or we can upgrade our tools as well. Anyways, um, I didn't do much else, because like I said, my computer crashed. So, when... When I come back, um, I'll be with Justin, and we'll be continue playing Jazzy Nuts. Ciao.